I am Maria Garcia de Fleury. St. Luke is the gospel writer who focuses most on preparation. He shows how the way was prepared for the arrival of the Son of God and how we ourselves must be prepared. The angel Gabriel appeared to Zechariah in the temple and promised him that his wife would give birth to a son who would prepare the way for the coming of Christ. Zechariah had a hard time believing because he and his wife were already past the age of having children. He asked for a sign, and the angel gave him more than he expected. He could not speak until the promise was fulfilled. At this point in Luke's Gospel, there is a change of scenery. Luke passes from the great and holy temple in Jerusalem to an obscure village in a remote region not known. It makes us move away from this well-known priest towards an unknown peasant girl, from an old man to a young woman. It takes us from Zachariah to Mary. There are some striking similarities between what happens to Zachariah and Mary. Both are visited by the angel Gabriel. They are both made what seemed like an impossible promise involving a child. One of them would be filled with the Holy Spirit while still in his mother's womb. The other would be conceived by the Spirit. Both are given a sign. The similarities end there because Zachariah had a long-standing marriage to Elizabeth and Mary was just a young teenager from a small town called Nazareth in the region of Galilee. She was engaged to a young carpenter named Joseph. That means more than the current commitment. It was a binding contract. Any failure to comply was considered adultery. To get out of there, you had to start divorce proceedings. Engaged couples had many of the responsibilities of marriage, but without the privileges. When the angel Gabriel appeared, the unthinkable happened. He greets her in a strange way, saying, Hail Mary, the Lord is with you. Mary is disconcerted. The angel Gabriel senses her confusion and explains further. You will have a child and you will conceive and give birth to this child the long-awaiting Messiah. Mary asked how could it be, but did not doubt, as was the case with Zechariah, but she was confused. And then came the surprise. Who said he would be the father? Something about the Holy Spirit getting her pregnant? Imagine the swirl of emotions. On the one hand, she was stunned by the honor. On the other hand, she was afraid of how could this end. Jewish law said that a man or a woman who committed adultery was to be stoned. Who would believe her story? Most likely, she would be disgraced. All her dreams were dying. A part of Mary wanted to fall into grateful praise. Another part wanted to protest such an unjust intrusion into her life. But somehow, on the battlefield of her own heart, she decided to surrender. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. With simple faith, Mary said yes to God. This is the spirit of Christmas, humility. Mary says yes to God's intrusion because she knew God knows best. Her humility was expressed in completely surrendering to God because she knew that with God we always win.